Good afternoon, my dears. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm, my name is Snake Hanu from Ethiopia. I'm working my job here in Awasa University as physics lecturer. Now, I request you to solve, to tackle this problem. So, it is required to tackle together, my dears. Look here. It says for a projector, the ratio of maximum head ratio to the scale of flight time is. So, we request you to find the ratio of maximum head and then the time of flight. To do that, we have to follow the following steps. First, what we have to do, my dears? We have to plot x y plane. And then let's be. Look, my dears. This is it. Let it be this is x axis. And then let it be this is y axis. And then some object or projectile or any object. Okay, strong for by certain angle theta. And then it follows the inverted, what you call it, parabola like. It's known as trajectory. So it flows like this. Okay? Look, my dears. If the initial velocity of the projectile is V0, and then it's drawn by certain angle theta, let it be theta, gamma, beta, something, but I chose the what you call it, theta. And then what we have to do first? Before, before calculating what you call it, the ratio, before finding the ratio of uh, H maximum and then uh, the total time flight, first we have to split the main vector of velocity here into its component. That is, we first we have to find the V dot of X, that is, as you know, V dot cosine of theta. And then V dot of Y, that is V sine sine of theta. Great. After a time while, if the object arrives or arrives the maximum point, the maximum point, and then it is B final along, I mean it's B final volume becomes zero. Therefore, look, this head is known as maximum head. So to find this the maximum head, look my dears, we have to use this formula as what we have learned it in our previous lesson. The final scale is equal to the initial scale minus two g h max. Why this minus? Because velocity is upward, and then as you know, it is a vector physical quantity, and then the head is upward or the displacement upward, but acceleration due to gravity is downward, and then as what we have said, h maximum at h maximum, the final of what is zero. Yeah, and then V not Y, already we split it here, what we said, V not sine theta, so you, we have to substitute in terms of V not Y, V not sine theta, and then you scale it, it becomes the scale of V not, the scale of sine theta, and then take to the left, and then it becomes neg of V square sine theta, I mean scale of sine theta, which is equal to neg of G H max. And then it may both side by two, may go both side by two G, and then it becomes, look at my gears, and then it becomes it becomes H max becomes the blade scale of this V naught scale of I need no work. This is equation one. And now we first, and then we have to find the time of flight. As usual, to find the, find the time of flight, we have to use the y component of velocity. 
that is b minor of y is equal to b initial of y minus g t and then half of b square. Why? To arrive from the square hand to the maximum head, it requires half of the total time. And then after finding what we call it, the half of the flight time, is the total time becomes twice of half of the flight time. As usual, this is zero. And then V naught of Y minus GT half light. And then already we split it here. The, the value V naught of Y, that is V naught sine theta. And then take to the left side, and then it becomes neighbor V naught sine theta. Which is equal to neighbor of G T half flight. And then divide both sides by neighbor of G. That it becomes T half flight becomes neighbor of V naught sine theta over neighbor of G. And then look at half flight becomes just cancel this neck by neck and then it becomes V naught sine theta over G. Let's give it this equation too. That's e total becomes twice of t half light. Then it becomes twice of v naught sine theta over g. Therefore, therefore, we requested as you know, we requested the h max, the ratio of h max, and then the scale of t total. But if we have both, and then we solve it for H maximum as well as total time, already we substitute, we have to substitute. And then H maximum is, that's what we have here found here, square of G naught, square of sine theta of twice of G, and then the whole of according to the equation to it is twice of V naught sine theta over G and then the whole scale. And then this becomes V square and then square of sine theta over to G times square of this over for square of this and then the square of sine theta. What we have to do is eliminate this means simply g dot g. So eliminate one g by g. Eliminate square of no, b of no, not by b not. Square of sine square of sine of theta by square of sine theta. What remains here? Already everything is eliminated. Here in the numerator part g and then in the numerator part two plus is four. But according to the problem, it is uh, we already indicated that to use acceleration due to gravity 10 meter per square second. That means the value of d is here 10 meter per square of second over uh, two times four by two one by two pi. And then it becomes and then it becomes and then it becomes Yes, ignore this one because already it's eliminated, and then this becomes it divide one by two pi, and then it becomes five over four. That this implies that the answer is five two two four. Thank you for watching this video, wonderful video. Please don't forget like it, subscribe to it, and then put your own comment. Thank you very much. Bye bye bye.